Hi guys Bimsara from TechB here. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to use applications which requires root access to run on your device without root access. You don't need unlocked bootloader or anything for this. Before we start can you subscribe to my channel? That means a lot. So first thing you need to do is download S8 Sandbox from their official site. If download didn't start when clicking this button you can scan this QR code and get a direct download link. After download gets completed you can install it on your device. After the installation open the application. Just grant the access for it. First time this will take minute or two to boot up. You will need internet connection for this. Now it's booted up. These are the pre-installed applications on this application. Please do note that this is an Android emulator for your device. So it's independent from your stock operating system. You can do whatever you want without affecting the stock Android. In this application settings, you can control a lot of things. Even you can change the resolution to increase performance. So this emulator on my device is on 1440p, which is native resolution of my device. It totally can handle this resolution without an issue. If you feel laggy on this I recommend lower the resolution. This is a rooted emulator so you have super user to control the root access. Let's check which Android version is this running on. As the icons I can say this is pretty old. Yes as you can see, this is running Android 5.1.1 which is totally fine. That means this will not stress out on lower end devices. Also most of apps still support this Android version. Let's log on to Google Play and see if that's working or not. Yes it's working no issues there. But also you can import applications straight from the main Android. There is lots of ads that's the drawback using this emulator. Otherwise it's perfectly fine. So I have installed CPU-Z on emulator let's check it's rooted or not. Interestingly it shows wrong processor for my device. It's showing quad-core Exynos chipset. But this is Snapdragon 845. But GPU is showing correct as Snapdragon 630. And yes it got the root access. Some of information are wrong here. That's the nature of emulators. Because this is rooted you can change all of that later. Also stock Android gestures works here too. If you go to main Android the emulator will remain as small pop-up window. Let's install some root required apps to emulator. So I have installed couple of applications which requires root access to work. Let's check them out. Before we test it I will show you my device information. So I got Snapdragon 845 and 4 gigs of RAM. And this is not rooted. Let me show you what happened if I run these apps on my main Android system. As you can see they want run without root access. Let's check them out on emulator.
So as you can see this app perfectly running on this emulator compared to my main Android. So root access is working without an issue. You can do lot of things using this tool, like extending RAM controlling thermal limits and much more. Let's check camera is working on this emulator. If you directly launch third-party camera application it will give you some bugs. But if you first launch the stock camera and then open the third-party camera it will work without an issue. But I don't recommend taking pictures on emulator. Because it miss out lots of camera features. One of the main reason I try this out because to check that out I can enable camera to API features or not. To enable camera to API level 3 support you need root access. But unfortunately it don't even have camera to API full control which my device already supports. I also tried editing built prop to enable camera to API support but it didn't work. You can edit built prop but it's not applying to system. So if you need root access to enable camera to API support, this won't help for it. But if you need root access just to hack applications and games, this works just fine. As you can see by using Lucky Patcher you can hack into applications without an issue. So that's it for this video. If this helps you to solve your doubts about root emulation or rooting please help me by subscribing. Thank you. See you guys later.